Hi, Internet viewers. Frank Rauscher. We're working on the black cap chickadee, and we finished the tail on the last video, and the underneath side, we did the rump area. Now, what we're going to do is mark out the feathers and relieve them in this video here. So, let me show you that. Okay. I'm going to get a pencil, and what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of the feathers as we come down, and I'm going to start right here with a feather about that big. Hope you can see this well. There. Now, I'm going to try to break that up if I can. So, I'm going to hit, like, the centers of the C's. These are, like, what I call C feathers. And I'm going to break that up. And I'm doing about the same size again. Now, on this one, I'm going to come off to the side here just to break this pattern up. And I'm getting a little bigger. I'm not trying to say stay so even with the feathers. I try to get increased. I'm going to increase it until I get about to the middle of the, the breast. So you will see increases in the size of the C's, I call it. Um, Notice I'm not trying to do loop to loop to loop. I'm trying to stagger them. And even if you want to put a small one in, you know, just to throw things around, you can do that. And I'm going to go for a bigger one in here. And I'll go for a bigger one over here. And I'll throw one in here. And there. Still want to keep them pretty big. Now I'm getting over the crest as I come down. I don't want to get small yet, but I want to start minimizing the size of the feathers. So, I'm now going to Minimize the feathers. Let me throw one right in there. I'm going to throw a small one. I'll put one in here. And there. Let's see. Put one right in here. Then one piggybacking right into that groove there. I'm going to small one here. As you notice, I went from small, large, larger, then smaller, smaller. I don't want to get real small, though, when I say small. But I want to get it down so that by the time I get that rump at the end down there, I will... Have them like about this size here, this size over here, and hope you're seeing this well. There. I'm going to get smaller and smaller. More. I don't get too too small, so let's see. They're still they've got some size to them, and then there. So I've got that all marked in. Hope you can see that well. Now what I want to do 
is I'm going to get a, a diamond ball. It's a two millimeter ball. I'm going to put that in my ram grinder, micro grinder. And what I'm going to do, and I usually go full speed. This is like 45,000, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to go right on to the pencil line and I'm walking it around. And I'm going right on my pencil line. And when I come over to the wings, I don't want to bang into the wings, so you come right up to it, but without reshaping that. Okay. I don't know if you see the depth of cut real well, but it's not a whole lot but I'm trying to get some lift out of it and for me I'm a lefty so I have the drag going this way so I have this in control and I can come around but right handers may want and on your micro grinders they have a forward and reverse. Sometimes you may want to uh, work that for you on that reverse way of doing it on the machine where it's going in an opposite direction. It may give you the, the better control to undercut these right along there. And once you get the hang of it, and again, I'm not saying that you may have a little bit of a control problem at times. That's practice. And, and I may make it look easier, but bear with me, it ain't that hard. You know, you, you just have to practice and and uh, it really isn't all that bad. It really isn't. It's just a matter of getting the feel and the drag that may be going along with it as far as you, you get some resistance and you have control of the ball and the ball isn't taking you where it wants to go, okay? Now on these smaller ones, just take your time. With the smaller they are, a little more uh and you don't have to go real deep on these. So I don't think you have to drive us to kingdom come uh, to, to get the depth of cut you don't I try to let the ball do the work down here and it, and it's not I don't think it is it's as deep maybe close to what we did above there you go now to aid myself, I'm going to go back into that valley and I'm going to run the pencil lines in again just so I could see it and you could see it. Okay. And it's just a matter of getting into the valley. I don't know how much you're seeing it. Some of the lead I have in some of these pencils. Let's see if I got a darker one. I don't know if the 
this will come out dark or not. I, I ain't doing it neither. I have these. Uh, these are, uh, I think, an HB. I'm not sure. Or 2H. Oop. I think I snapped a point on that one, but that's not a problem. It's coming out okay. Had a real sharp point on the pencil. Oop, I broke it. That's why. So I will go back to the original one I had. It was marking it out. I just wanted to get it a little more heavier so that you can probably see it better. And uh, what I'm going to ask you to do in a minute is excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. Coming in here, trying to get all these outlined in here so that you can see them better. And and I'll do the bottom ones later. What I want to try to do now is uh, I want to get the bullet which is this guy here. It's a bullet-shaped diamond. I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna put that in my little machine here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the back side of the C where the C is rounding here. This edge, there's like a double edge. There's an edge on the front end of the feather going down below it. And there's an edge inside the feather that we just did. So I'm coming in with a real soft, I'm letting the bit do the work. I don't want to lean on it that hard. And what it does, it softens that edge. And that's all I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to soften that edge that I just ran through the ball. And you want to make sure you get all of them. And let me show you. This process, once you get it done, uh, the texturing is, is uh, another thing you have to sort of practice a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna show you with a, a carbon silicate stone how to texture this. We're not gonna burn it. Although you could, some people like to do that. I, I stone it and I'll show you how to do that. What I'm trying to do here is to get all the bottoms of the C's here softened, that bottom edge. You still have an edge on the other side, but what I'm going to do is just the supper portion. I'll do the rump later. I just want you to see how I tackle this and then you could go on with the rest now everything is rolling from this point on the back side now it's the front side and what i mean by that let me get a pencil here we softened all these c's in the back there's like an edge that was right in here and we softened them down now what I want to do is anything, here's the feather right here I'm talking about, and this is any one of them. I want to soften the edge here, here, and here. That's left over, it's got that double edge. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to come in here on this feather, 
and I'm lightly just touching it just to soften the edge anywhere along that leading edge. And if I go too far with, you know, softening it out, just make sure you're transitioning to make the feather look like it's rolling from front to back, okay? And you don't have to, I'm hardly touching these feathers. Now, I'm not going to touch anything on the front one. It's the back side. And if I see something I missed on the bottom, I will get that too. Because a lot of times when you think you've gotten everything, you don't. And, and I always try to reposition my piece after I get done and check it out again. Just to make sure that... I uh, softened everything out. And the, these aren't real deep. These are not deep at all. And when we go to stone them, which I'll show you shortly, uh, you want to uh, you're, you're doing a fanning effect. And that will soften some of this out anyway. I see something that I missed right here. So I'm going to go with that way. Now I'm going to come back inside the feathers here and just soften inside the leading edge of these feathers. And stoning will soften things too and make you know if you miss something that's sort of like it's it's like raking it out and if you did miss something it could take care of what you may have missed too i'm trying to alleviate any of the misses by doing this and softening things so i haven't touched the bottom area here but most of that's been softened out now. There may be a, an area or two where when I clean this out, I can see a little edge there. I'll just touch it, okay? But most of this will be taken care of on the next stage. Now, I have a carbon silicate uh, stone, and this is a stone, and I'm using the corner. I'm going to do this on a 45 degree angle and I'm going to mark and do a fanning effect. Okay. Remember how, uh, I was saying before, like you have these C's and I'm going to ex give you an exploded view again, just like when we burned, we burned from the leading edge down. I'm going to ask you to strike the same way and come right on through the back of the feather and just keep on going down. Now, you'll see uh, a lot of uh, carvers start from the bottom up. Uh, that's their way of doing it. Uh, I prefer the top down, so here we go. Oop, got the wrong bit. We did this already. Now we're using the carbon silicate, and we're using that corner. And I'll get that in. Now, I'm going to start at the top, and I'm striking right on past my feather line, okay? And I'm fanning out and taking the middle, and then I'm going to the right and then to the left. And I'm going to do that. And everyone in the front here. And I, I just randomly go at it. But you may want to come back later and do it again, you know, because you think you got everything. 
You may not have. I don't. I don't think you could see much there. But let me show you. I'm gonna do the next row. And I'm going down the center to the left and then to the right. And I do that all the way down. What it does, it softens the valleys and it still leaves the rise and fall in there. And it gives you the creation of your feathers in the breast sitting there. They're sort of smooth, but they're lifted. So that you have a, a nice soft look in there. And that's what I'm trying to gain. So I'm going to do a whole gang of them going down here. And then I'm going to show you this one you think you got everything. You may not. And I'm doing the best I can. And I'm not trying to go onto the wings, okay? Remember, try to keep control on your texture to stop before you get onto the wing, okay? You wanna get right up to it, and that's where maybe your test or skills to, to get this is when you get close to the wing. So I come down the middle, and I always take the middle of the C to start, I don't know if you can see that real well, what I've done. But these are pretty big. So when you get to the rump area, the very bottom under the tail, you're almost raking it right on through because they're so small, uh, the feathers that it's almost like you're raking right through each one of them. And in a sense, that's what you're doing here, but you have more of a uh, an exposure to lifting these, or at least look like they're lifted. It's just a trick of getting some detail into the feather. And I like the look as I come from the top down. Now, if you miss the spot, you can go right back over it again. Just be consistent. Notice I got my finger on here. You just can't do this lollygagging. You're, you're bouncing too much. So you got to come in and you have to uh, make sure your depth of cut it's similar for the most part, you know, and and that's if you don't have your two hands together, you're bouncing all over the place, and you really get some goofiness going on in the line work, and you don't want that. The breasts are are fairly soft, but we we make them. Uh, rise up so that it has some uh, feathery texturing that we, we try to give them a, a, a feathered look and almost like individual breast feathers when they're really soft they are really fine but most feathers on a bird are really fine We, we exaggerate a little bit. That, that makes it. Now, I just did from here to here. And I didn't quite get this one right here, which is like a high spot there. And if you do have a high spot, you could knock it down a little bit too, just by raking it over. Okay. Now, I'm not sure I got everything, and I don't know if you could see everything as well as I did. So I'm going to put, this is like a horsehair brush. I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to run my machine at half speed. 
because you don't want that real, real fast. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go over all that I've just done. And I don't know if you can see that or not. It's the shadowing. I, I could see I m missed a little bit. Excuse me, let me shut that off. Right in here, there's like a valley that I didn't get into. And let me see if I got everything else. And that looks pretty good. Let's see if I got everything up top. Yeah, we're not we're not too bad. Uh, here's a spot that I missed. There's like a gap between here and here with no texturing in between. So I'll just put a pencil mark in there so I can remember where it's at. Then I'll go back in, just switch around. Remember, you want to turn your speed up when you're doing the stoning to full speed. And I'm going to go back in that area right in here and just break right on through. And I'm going past the feather line, okay? The back end of the sea is not stopping me. That's what I want you to do. I want you to keep on going. And there you go. That should do it. And I think I spotted something else on there. It's not cutting the whole thing. There you go. Oops, okay. the spot. There we go. So you're going to do the same thing down here. And it's just going to be smaller and take your time. And that will get all of the breast textured. Okay. So hope you got something out of this one too uh if you did please give me a thumbs up if you have a chance to ring the bell and subscribe to my channel as well i'd appreciate that greatly and if there's anybody that you know that's interested in doing birds or animals please put them onto my channel i'd appreciate that as well if you ever need any products or anything please contact me through my email address and uh, I will gladly try to help you out. We have kits that have the feet, the eyes, uh, the blank and the pattern uh, on any of the ones I've done so far. And if you have any questions, definitely put some in the comments section. I'm here to try to help you out. If there's something that seems a little confusing to you, definitely uh, get back to me and we'll see if we can help you out. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.